Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today we're going to tie a, kind of a different West Coast pattern. It's called the Washigol Olive. And this fly was designed by uh, Bill McMillan. And he uses it in something called a deep wet fly swing. Now what Bill McMillan was doing was different from everybody else out West is that he was still using floating lines in the winter and he would use a particular type of fly in order to sink it enough to be effective. And it's based on a relatively sparse design on a tied on a heavy hook. So that's what we're going to do today. And uh, if you want to learn more about this type of presentation, just check out uh, Bill McMillan Deep Wet Fly Swing and there's enough stuff on the net that should come up for it. He also uh, has a book out there called Dry Lion Steelhead Fishing, which you might want to check into. So let's get going. It's the Washugal Olive and it's a very simple pattern and it's quite quick to tie. Okay, the hook I'm using is a 2 aught heavy salmon hook. It's a very thick gauge hook and it uh, penetrates very well. It really gets down. So I've used it on other flies and I'm very happy with the style of hook. Our thread is 6 aught black. Our rib is a number 10 mylar, which is gold on one side, silver on the other. This is a, a large size of mylar. The tail in the throat is all of calf tail. Okay, let's get started. Now I'm just going to stop the thread as I get off the return and we're going to tie the tail in at this point. And the reason for doing that is I want this to be full of material because I want that body to be level. If, if I tie in the tail here, I'm going to end up with this nasty bump that I can't get rid of. So a couple of things about natural material. Uh, I bought this uh, calf tail with other flies in mind and uh, I didn't worry about the length of the hair. Uh, and now on this fly, it's kind of biting me because the hair is quite short and uh, I need relatively long piece of hair for this. So we'll, it pays when, to, when you're buying material to think about the type of fly you'll be tying with it. Now, just like I do with bucktail, I will strip off the short bits and clean it up over the garbage can. Okay, we size it and we tie it in, make sure it's on top. Now the next step is I'm going to lift this up as I turn the thread and what happens is the thread skids down and it stacks up and this will give me a very nice smooth body which is what I want when I'm putting in my mylar. Okay, we stop at the hook point and we tie in our mylar and because we want the gold to show, we tie it in with the silver facing out. You notice I wrapped it right onto the return and the reason for that is I want to, a space where my throat goes in where I don't want the head to be very very long so I need that little extra gold mylar covering the return so it makes it look neat when I put in the throat. So we're going back to our olive for the throat. Now this is where the shortness of this particular calf tail doesn't hurt. Uh, the, the throat's not going to be that long. Just put it on the side and then as you wrap it'll spin around. A few tight wraps and then snip it all off. And if you see a stray, come in there and get the stray. And I'll just wrap that down. Now we turn it over. I just see if it's moved a little bit. There we go. Now my white is nice and long, so I'll have a plenty of room for the right wing. So I like to size it. I'm going to put it about half the tail, grab it here on the side, and then have it spin around. Some tight wraps to hold it in place. Now the last step is our head cement. 
start with a little UV glue. And then to retain the gloss, we'll use a little top coat. There you go, the Washougal Olive. Very simple fly to tie, very quick. Uh, it's designed to get down and stay down in current. You can fish it on a long leader. It is, extracts easily. And uh, it's an effective pattern. So check out the deep wet fly swing and how to fish this fly. Cheers.